You forgot the spell. What spell is this? <laughs> you know my husband doesn't play. See, if I hadn't stepped in on time, eh, that man would have just got him the latest Range Rover Sports. Just like that. <laughs> eh, now, with or without this job, my life will go on. You know, maybe a little vacation here or there to cure boredom. <laughs> Unlike some people who are looking for jobs for their husbands, whom their husbands solely depend on. Yes, many women feed their husbands, and it's such a pity. You know, like I always say, <laughs> get you a capable man, <laughs> just like my husband. Okay. I can know, but emphasize on you too. Yes, <laughs> my darling. <laughs> my baby made a reservation at this new seafood restaurant. The baby girl has to enjoy now. <laughs> Later. <laughs> um, excuse me, Barbara. Who were you referring to on that phone call? Excuse me. Excuse you what? I mean, like, if you want to talk to me, why can't you talk to me face to face? Why all the drama? Why the gossip? <laughs> really? Was I talking to you? Uh. Anita, I'm in such a haste. You know, I can't keep my husband and the restaurant waiting. Ma, I'm done placing the file. You have to tell me. Same thing I said, like, I'm so jealous. Ah. Hey, but baby, it's just a little bit to go village like this. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, who would have thought that Nene would find a husband in such a crappy village? Hi, Anita. Hi, girl. I couldn't keep you girls waiting for so long. I'm sorry. Uh, Not really. No, you, you didn't. But Anita, are you okay? You look out of it. <sighs> How are you? Ah, I don't mind her. Babe, you are glowing. I mean, no. Look at her, see how she changed from the conservative Anita we used to know into this successful uh, woman. Excuse me, I was born like this. I was born sophisticated, eh? So don't go there. Uh, wait, uh, uh, wait, uh, wait. As if we don't know you way back in second high school. No, maybe it's the promotion. Oh. I mean, Anita, cold soup for me now. Have you? Oh. I, I, beg, I beg, I beg. No, tell us so you don't finish. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't even have the strength. I am starving. Please. Okay. Yeah, food yes, I know that. yeah, of course. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, bro. What's up, yeah, man? I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> and why are you waiting out here? Why did you just come into my office? No, come on. I was on my phone. I just wanted to chill and wait for you, man. <laughs> What's up? You done, work? Uh, yes, I am. I've been... I tried to call you all day. Your number's been switched off. Where have you been? I was uh, chilling somewhere, bro. I just uh, wanted to clear my head, man. You know, all these things going on. So, um... Does your wife know yet? Have you told her? No, man. No, I, I, I will tell us soon, bro. Okay, so when is soon and how soon are we talking about? Bro, do you realize you guys work in the same company? And don't you think she's going to figure this out? Bro, come on. Yeah, we work in the same company, okay. but we don't work in the same office. I just want to find the best way to, you know, let her know about the whole thing, bro. I will tell her. Don't worry. And any news regarding job search? Like, any good news? I haven't started looking for a job yet, bro. I just want to, you know, take my time, calculate what I want to do next, and then... I move forward. Anyways, whatever I do, I believe everything will be fine eventually. Okay? Yeah, so, you good? Let's go get a drink. You mind? You don't work, right? I'm done. Come on, let's go. Cheers, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
wait, wait a minute. You mean you caught him stealing from him and you let him go like that? Why? What was I supposed Arrest to do? Arrest him! The guy was broke! <laughs> Honestly, men keep falling our hands big time. I tell you. <laughs> Seriously, it's so hard to find a decent Nigerian guy who is over 30 and unmarried. Oh! I know I disagree. I still have that category in my office and they're still single and searching. Who calls up now? Uh-uh. How did you want to manage? Seminius. <laughs> Later, seriously, you're lucky. Very lucky. Ah. Ooh. Wait, wait. How, how am I lucky? Because I'm married. Of course. Duh. Really? At least you're not out here hustling like us. Hey. Babe, enjoy your good fortune. It's not the way it is, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your husband. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the one. I wonder what he's doing here. Uh, he looks kind of dull. And why is he dressed that way? What way? Nothing. He just looks dull. Oh, oh, my darling, mm -hmm. is everything all right? Did something happen? Um, I, would you excuse me? I'll okay. be right back. You see, bro, losing your job is not the end of the world. Just chin up, lighten up, come on. Bro, you don't understand. Losing a job you've gotten so used to, it's not easy getting over it. And I, I'm still getting over it. Well, I know, I know, but... Who lost what job? Oh, um, uh, what a pleasant surprise. We... I asked the question, who lost his job? Hey, baby. Um, hi. Felix, is there something you're not telling me? Um, Anita, you know... <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, Mr. Balaji. Baby, please, can we talk about this at the house? Please. Let's go. Over. Today, I mean, I know we work in the same office and you were definitely going to find out anyways. Felix, I gave an arm and leg to get you that job and you couldn't tell me you got fired? I know and for that I am sorry. I'm sorry. Felix, are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry we not fixed this. Did you even find out why you got fired? No. No. <laughs> no. Are you serious? They fired my darling husband and he doesn't know the reason why they fired him. Are you okay? So you want to depend on me to take care of you or to pay the bills of this house? Do you even know how expensive our lifestyle is in this house? So you want me to take care of you and pay the bills? Anita, I will not depend on you for anything. Good. Better get to work. Have you applied for any? Anita? Come on. You know what? I need to rest. I need to take a break. Give me a chance, right? Do not Anita me. Do not Anita me, Felix. I got you this job. For the past few years, you couldn't buy yourself a promotion. I have been there for just four years. Just four years. And I'm already in the middle management. Don't we have the same hurt? Are you Don't saying... Wait, wait. Them? Are you saying it's my fault that I got fired? Well, I can't rule that out. Because every one of us knows that all workplaces are very competitive. Obviously, you were not competitive enough. That's not so. Look, I did my best. That's not so. I did my best. Well, your best wasn't enough. It wasn't. Excuses. That is all I get from you. Excuses. What are you going to be in, man? You know what? I am tired of this again. Excuse me.
Babe. Babe. Mm -hmm. Can we talk? I'm so sleepy. I'm trying to get some sleep, please. I know, but you go to work very early and I just want us to talk before you go. Listen, I'm very sleepy. I need to wake up early. Or do you want me to get fired like you? Do you want me to sleep? It's okay, we'll, we'll talk tomorrow. Hello. Baby, why didn't you wake me up? What for? We agreed to have a talk this morning, didn't we? Oh, I forgot. Baby, how could you just forget like that now? Felix, you know what? I'm going to talk to you later. I'm busy. I have work to do. Later then. Bye.
Hey. Harley. It's late. I uh, thought we agreed to come home early no matter our busy schedules. Well, I am the one making the money now, so I can come home anytime I choose to. Okay? Calm down, Nita. We're not fighting. Honey, we're not quarreling. Come on. Forever. Come to think of it, I was at a meeting with the management of the reality TV show. Reality TV show? So you're still about that? Yes. The show is starting next year. That means you have valuable time to get another job for yourself. Why do you even want to be part of a reality TV show? And why shouldn't I? I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't get you. That show is for the very rich people, you know, socialites, those kind of people. And uh, are you implying I don't fit in because my husband isn't a rich husband? No, but... That is why you need a job. You should get a job before the show starts so people don't go around digging when the show is on that my husband is jobless. That wouldn't look nice, you know, right? Slow down, Anita. Slow down to where, Felix? I mean... He, he... I think you run your razor is way too much for you. Hey, I am not like you. I can never be like you, okay? Okay, what does that mean? It means get yourself a job this week. What do you think you're doing? Are you not going to share? Share what? Listen, you're if drink. you want to drink brandy, they sell it at the supermarket. They have different types. Go and buy your own. Anisa, come on. This is just a drink. Oh, I, I, I know you're angry at me because I lost my job, but I'm working to get a job. We were just talking about sharing your drink. Have you found another job yet? Not yet, but I'm, I'm looking. So you want me to get another job for you so that you will go in there and get fired a second time, Abby? Anita, come on. Come on. Come See, on. Felix, I am not in the mood for this. I am working. And I'm even tired. I don't want to argue. I'm tired. Just leave me alone. Don't make me angry. Would you uh -uh. stop yelling? It's just about a drink. Anita, what's, what's wrong? I mean, I don't know, but you are so different. I'm trying. I'm not the person who gives jobs out. I'm looking for a job. Okay. Listen, Felix. Do you know who I am? Do you know my rank in that company? Do you know me very well? Are you trying to embarrass me or disgrace me? Just in case you have forgotten, my name is Anita and I am the most beautiful and sophisticated woman in that company. How can my own husband be jobless? How? Tell me how. Anita, you were not this person when we first met. You haven't been this person for many years. Why are you suddenly turning into a different person? I mean, you know that I want a job and I'm looking for a job. So I don't know why you are behaving like this. I don't know why you, 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 you so changed. Take it easy on me. I believe in her love. I believe in hope. I kind of woman refuse to have any relationship with the husband because he doesn't have a job. It's not like I'm asking you for money. I believe in our love. I believe in hope. I know. I am not so perfect. I know how to do this. So Here we go, girls. <laughs> Being seriously, so rash. Thank you. Anita, you didn't tell us where we are going out. So, where is the party happening? Where? <laughs> the party is in my house. 
<laughs> uh, let me just say, I'm practicing how to leave the reality TV star life. Go, you know, in reality TV show, people look beautiful at home. I've been watching Keeping Up with the Kardashian recently, and they all look beautiful at home. <laughs> oh, so wait, I guess we're expecting Keeping Up with Anita very soon. That's right. <laughs> Hmm, whoa, that's cool. Um, what's up? What's up with your husband's job? I don't know. All I know is his time is up this week. And then what happens next? I mean, after his time is up. I will increase the intensity of frustration. I don't get it. Look, when people are drowning, do not drown with them. Oh, wait, wait, Anita. What if you increase nagging and probably he gets tired and wants a divorce? Mm -mm. Why are you so smart, girl? Eh? You, you mean you want him to... When the heat is too much to handle, you leave the kitchen. What are you even saying? He's your husband, for crying out loud. He is my husband, but he's, he is such a bore. You know, like, I don't think Felix and I have this personality. We don't share the same personality at all. You know, like, I was hoping we would make this power couple's list like Jay-Z and Beyonce, Kim and Kanye thing, but it's not working. Anita, you were not like this before. Yes, I thought you loved this man. Julie, the only constant in this life is change. I'm evolving. Love doesn't stop hunger. Haven't you thought that divorcing your husband means you might not get on that show. It is not called real Lagos wives for nothing. Who says so? Who says so? Baby, you're making me laugh. Shows like this want drama. They want all those going, you know, like uh, all those dating scandal thing. Eh? Imagine when they see Anita in a hot romance with a governor's son. This is the kind of story that involves, you know, if it's going to make a bestseller. No, no, I'm done with the story. Let me show you guys. Oh, Let me show you guys what it looks like to be a reality yeah. star. Like, this. take it out. Hmm. Imagine that. I'm okay. on the red carpet, okay. you know, like. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to take us along. What does it look like? No, 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 I'm not leaving you guys. You guys will follow me behind. It is 10 p.m. Tell me you're coming from your new office, Felix. I don't want to argue with you tonight. Fellas! Are you going to answer me or are you going to walk away? You've suddenly become a terror. I hope it makes you happy. That is your business. Where the hell are you coming from? Look. When you come back late at the time of the night, I never ask you where you are coming from. So why are you asking me? That is because there's a difference between the both of us. My role in the company gives me benefits of this house. And that means you live under my roof and you are answerable to me. Anita, I'm tired and I want to rest. Sleep outside. What? You heard me. You have a car, right? Sleep in your car. Or better still, sleep on the hallway. Anita, what has come over you? Felix, I have told you countless times that I cannot manage a useless husband. I cannot live with people that are not meaningful in my life. You must be useful to live with me. Okay? Do you want me to call the escort? Do you want me to call the security to escort you out? It is my name that is on the floor. Fine. 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 Fine! You don't have a job. You're still irresponsible. How do I manage you? Uh, 
Hey, bro. How far am I going? Man, fine, man. What's up? What's up? Were you able to talk to that guy, the guy from the company we talked about? Man, nothing yet. Oh, wow. I'm on, I'm on my day off for today. Why don't I come over to your place and talk better? Uh, my place? Why don't you just meet at a restaurant, bro? Really? A restaurant? Mm -hmm. What time do you want to come around? Before noon. Okay, that's fine. That, that, that's fine. I think noon is fine. Alright, alright. See you then. Okay, uh, uh, we'll see now. Uh, just hit me up, alright? Okay, bye. She's out. Here for too long. I have a game by three o'clock, <sighs> so I gotta bounce. Come on, okay? come on with your football game. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, come on, let me see who's there. Okay, 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 bro. Who is it? What do you want? Um, I'm here to change the locks. Which locks? My lock? Yes. Who asked you to change locks? That was instructions. Instructions given to you by by who? My wife. You know what? Give me a moment. So, bro, are you okay, bro? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm okay. Just give me a moment, okay? Okay. Make it quick, or I'll be leaving soon. Mom, your husband is here to see you. Who? Your husband. Tell him I'm busy. But Ma, I said I'm busy. Should I tell him to wait? What for? Any more, let him go down the reception. Go on downstairs. Okay, Ma. waiting for you at the reception and you were leaving without seeing me? Felix, we were gonna meet at home, isn't it? Oh, were you really hoping to see me at home when you asked your apartment manager to change the locks? The locks are old. Okay, so why didn't you tell me you wanted to change the locks? 
Fellas, let's just say it skipped my mind, please. It skipped your mind? Anita, what are you playing at? Last night, you made me to sleep in the car. Today, you are changing the locks. What is it? What are you after? You know what, Felix? Let's just say I am sick and tired of being the sole owner of the house. Maybe a push here and there will wake you up and make you get a befitting job for yourself. Anita, what has come over you? Are you, are you serious? What, what have come over you? Even though you earn higher than I do, I have never relied on you for anything. Never! Really? Felix, I have a meeting in the next 20 minutes. I'll see you at home. I hope you know what I feel for you. I wish you see what I see in you. Only if you take your time to... This is terrible, man. So doesn't Anita think you never get a job again? But I just want to walk away. From what, actually? The marriage. I've had it. But I don't think she means it now. I guess the laws were probably bad and she needed to change them. Bolaji, I don't know what to think. Bro, we need to get you a job ASAP, man. What I need right now is an apartment. Just in case something like this happens again. Just need a place. I have some savings, but my plan was to use it for uh, buying some landed properties for the family. She's have to make a decision now. Okay. But why is Anita acting this way? I've never seen her in this kind of... I've never seen her this way before. What, what actually happened? Everything. Wait, are you serious? Does it look like I am joking? Listen, Felix is a step out of my life. Papa, that's not fair. What do you mean that is not fair? Wait, wait, Anita. You don't need to ruin your marriage simply because you want to live up to some standard. Yes! Okay. You don't understand, do you, Julie? Let me make you understand. I grew up from a very poor household. I was never seen to be pretty before. You know, like, all I had was my dream. Everything I ever had, I worked hard for it. And now I'm about to up my game and achieve my dream. Someone is trying to pull me backwards. I will let that happen. <laughs> Babe, calm down. We get you. Sincerely, we do. But what we are trying to say here is, you've got a good thing going on and we don't want you to ruin it. I mean, your husband is also hardworking. It's not his fault that he is not as successful as you are. It's not his fault. Felix is laid back. He's lazy. Like, I need to push him to do something. And I'm tired of that. <laughs> well, that makes sense. After all, he has never wanted a 9 to 5 job anyway. Oh, oh that's true. Felix is a good cook, yes, and we all know he has the dream of owning a restaurant someday. You ladies, stop making it look like I'm the bad person here. Listen, it's not my fault. I just want more. <laughs> okay, if I may suggest here, since Felix is a good cook, why don't you both try and like open a small restaurant in your hey, home? Me. Uh, I mean, people don't have to dine in. You can do deliveries. Me. Of course. I mean, God forbid. Not me. <sighs> so, Anita, now you've locked him out of the apartment. What next? <sighs> well, I didn't change the locks again. I mean, I'm not a heartless, you know. All I just want to do is push him away, frustrating, so he can live my life. Let him just go and I'm fine for divorce and leave me alone. Anita! Anita! Relieved. I'm sure you're relieved to see you haven't been locked out. I have also asked the cleaner to get the guest from Brady. You should sleep there from tonight. I 
think you're mad. I'm going to sleep in our bedroom, whether you like it or not. I will sleep in our bedroom. I don't know what's wrong with you, Anita. stopped running. Can you do something about it? What? Okay, thank you. I'll call you back. Did you ask the, 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 the apartment management to put off the water? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Why? Because I pay a lot for water in this house. So I asked him to turn off the water after my morning bath and restore it when I'm back from work. Anita, this is ridiculous. You don't pay for the water that the company does. Correct. But you know what? Recently, the KPA started evaluating my living expenses, so I have to manage. You also learn to manage. Anita, this is ridiculous. This is it's unfair. This is being wicked. Learn to manage. How do you want me to shower? So, how do you want me to shower? Oh. This is wicked now. Yes, I need to take a shower. Vacation. I live here now. You live here now? I, I came to see my brother. Oh, your brother works here? Wow. I work here too. Oh, not my biological brother, my cousin. But he's the MD though. Mohammed is your cousin? Yeah. <gasps> what a small word. <laughs> I a small word. I can't get over it. What? <gasps> so tell me, how is everything? How are you? Where do you work? How are your siblings, your brothers? Everyone is married. Everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Is Ibrahim married? Oh, oh my god, I lost out. You know, I used to have a crush on him for this. The street had a crush on you. Like, literally. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's so good to see you. Good to see you. Look at you. Wow. You're glowing. You know what? Uh, we need to catch up for a drink or okay. lunch or something. Right. Just give me a call. I'll bring you. All right. All right. Good to see you, darling. So good Bye. to see you. Bye. 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 Me have a demon. I'm too tired. Um, <clears throat> Anita, can we talk? You just heard me say that I'm tired. I know, uh, but I was uh, thinking that we, you know, go and see a marriage counselor, therapist, or something. Did I tell you that I want to see anyone? Anita, come on. We can't deny that our marriage is going downhill. Then let it be. Listen, Felix, it, it is not all marriages that are meant to last. Some marriages are merely for a reason, for a purpose, or a season. Come on. Anita, what is wrong with you? What has Come over you. Why are you talking about our marriage? I mean, our marriage as if it's not a big deal. Because it is no longer a big deal. If we are both tired, we can take a break. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, 
are you are you are you telling me in a nutshell that you want a divorce? We won't be the first. Neither are we gonna be the last, right? People have been there, don't that. Take it easy on me. I believe in her love. I believe in oh, Who said marriage is by force? Who said it's by force to be married? Take it easy. If I hear you correctly, yeah? You want to divorce your wife? Yes. I mean, I actually booked this session for marriage counseling, but uh, she doesn't want to come. But you two realize that I'm not uh, a divorce lawyer. I'm actually a marriage therapist. I know. I mean, I just uh, wanted to talk to somebody, you know. I thought I should talk to somebody at least to tell me that I'm making the right decision, you know. Why don't you um, ask your wife to come so I can talk to both of you? I've told you everything she did to me. Well, you did mention about your wife and how long you guys have been together. How many years? About eight years. I mean, we've started dating our last year at the university, so... Um, about 10 years. How long were you friends for prior to your relationship? We met each other when we first entered the, the university. We, were, we actually met at a registration, you know. We were doing our registration. That's when we first met. So that's uh, approximately um, 13 to 14 years, yeah? Yeah, about 14 years. Yeah. When did her tantrum start? Last year when she got a promotion at the office. She started to pressure me to get a better paying job or to push for a promotion myself. So why didn't you push for promotion? I just couldn't because I, I mean, I couldn't see myself uh, in the company for a long term. It was just not my future, if you understand what I mean. And uh, besides, there were things going on in the office that she was not way off. So um, at a certain point in time, I thought it was the right decision to leave the office. Does she know about this? I mean, she should know she got me the job in the first place. And she always knew I had the desire to do something different. So why didn't you go for what you wanted? Anita and I, we, we understand each other. Oh, I, I, at least I thought we did. I think my biggest mistake was allowing her to make all the decisions, you know. 
But you do realize that it's not wrong for a spouse to make decisions for the family, especially if it's fair. But I... I've allowed it to go for so long that she stopped listening to me. It's like my voice didn't matter at all, you know? Why don't you convince her so that she can see me and then we can all talk about this? I can't. You can't or you won't? I mean, she won't. I've tried, I mean, I've tried convincing her to, to come to be here. Let's work this out, but she's just not interested, so I don't know what else to do. Then try again and convince her to come before you take that big step. I feel like you need to exhaust all of your options first. Empty. I don't know. Anita, you gotta stop acting like you own this house and everything inside. I buy the groceries too. Well, you can get them from the bin downstairs. Last time I checked, this fridge belongs to me. I own it. Anita! Anita! It's... Anita, I told you! Forget that I help pay your way through university. <laughs> Felix, wait, wait, what did you just say? Okay, you know what? How much did you spend on me? 25,000 naira, right? You know what? Calculate every penny you ever spent on me. I'm gonna have them sent to your account. I'm gonna double it for you. Don't you insult my sacrifices. Don't you insult the sacrifices I made for you. Oh, so what? What are you going to do? Felix, do it! Why can't you just let me be? I'm not trying to control you, am I? I can't let you be because you are not a strong man. You need a push to get a grip on yourself. Don't you get it? Okay. If you insist. What is that supposed to mean? I'm going to get a grip on my life. What is that supposed to mean? I'm going to start my catering job. I will use my savings and I will start my catering job. Not on your life, Felix. Never! Why? Never. Why? Is catering such a bad idea? It is such a bad idea. Who prefers owning a restaurant over working in a good company? A good, good company! Me! Bullshit. That's what I love and from now on, I'm going to do just what I love. Bullshit. Let me tell you something. The day you start doing that catering dirty, cheap business over looking for a good job, that will be the end of this marriage. And I mean it! Felix, I mean it! What, what, what is wrong what is with him? Like, like, maybe, maybe he thinks he's gonna become a chef frazzy, or maybe become a McDonald's, or KFC or something! You must be joking! Not in this life. Rubbish. Are you kidding me? Like, how did it happen? <sighs> I realized that I have a punishment for listening to people, so I took a few courses and here we are. Wow, well, that's <laughs> you, just be. Like, I wasn't expecting you of all people to become a marriage counselor. Well, so what else would I have studied? <laughs> okay, okay, like, I don't know, but not counseling. I know, right? I know, I know. Anyways, tell me, um, are you married? Or still single? Are you starching in? Divorced. Seriously? Why are you so surprised? I mean, can't a counselor be divorced? Yes. Okay, no, no, like, 
<laughs> not like that. You know, people don't expect counselors to be divorced, you know. And then every girl in the area looked up to you, and that includes me. Life is unpredictable. I just keep going with the flow. Yeah, let's leave all of that. It's okay, okay. I understand. I, I, I don't know the waiter. Oh, yeah, for the drinks. Drink. To help you drink your husband's booze. See, I think he only wants to do that. But it's getting more fixed. Thank you. Thank you. Are you sure you're not making a big mistake? <sighs> Bro, I need your help. Please. I need you to help me. What really is the problem with your husband, I mean? <sighs> that is the point. You see, all my life, I've always been that person that wants to be a mega superstar, a rich one. I've always wanted to be married to a wealthy man. And then I want to be that woman that also makes money for myself. Do you understand? <sighs> but, you know, I don't think my husband and I are on the same page. But divorce is not an option. Like, I feel like you guys can work things out, even though you've got differences. You know what? I think, um, I think Felix is content where he is, and I'm not. And you say that because? Listen, like, can you imagine that this Felix has to get a job after he does a job like that? He's lazy, can't you see? Yeah. But if you helped him get the last job, why can't you help him with another one? Like, is my destiny to get him a job or to get a jobless husband another job? <laughs> but he's your husband. Not for a long time. Look, I just feel like you need to just sort this out. You don't understand. Felix is difficult. And I want more. I deserve more. Then why don't you just give him a chance to be himself? I feel like you need to help him be a better part, a better version of, of sort of, of himself, as opposed to you trying to mold him all the time. That is because if I don't push him, he can't push himself. Would you let me advise you? Try and work things out with your husband. Give him a chance to hear him out, listen to him. Try and make some something out of this and make it work. Farah, you don't know my husband, do you? Look, communication is key in every relationship. The way you communicate with your husband is so important, Anita. You know, like, I try to do that too. I do. Do you yell? Well, I only do that when I need to make him understand. When I want him to be serious. When I want him to hear me out. Perhaps you... He sort of switches off, I think, when you're yelling. Or maybe you're unapproachable at that point. Well... That is the only way I can make him serious as me. Do you intentionally annoy your husband? How else do I make him listen to me? Look, I will take you in as a client, yes? But we must do something first. Let's do a 30 days incubation period, right? Incubation? What is that? Okay, so it's very easy, right? All you have to do is love your husband for 30 days. Yes, 30 days. But if things still stay the same, yeah? Then you can divorce him. You're looking for a reason to divorce your husband. Find me. No, like... No, you... Then I'm sorry, I can't help you. Hey. It took me time to um come back.
Shall we talk? I'm tired. Is it very important? Yes, uh, I uh, actually set up a meeting with a uh, marriage counselor. For who? For us, of course. Felix, aren't you getting ahead of yourself? Who asked you to do that? Can't you see that we are pulling apart? Don't you want us to fix it? Fix what? As far as I'm concerned, you are the reason why we're in this mess. You don't want to get yourself a job. Do you think I don't? <sighs> I'm sorry, good night. If you don't want us to see your marriage counselor, then let's get a divorce. Great idea. Great. Okay. Is there a problem with the contract? Um, 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 I can see that diversities are not allowed on the show. That's right. Our show strives to protect the sanctity of families. What is it, the Christian show or what? The idea behind this reality show the Real Lagos Wives, is to show how women juggle between their career and also create time for friends and fun. Interesting. Uh. So, divorces are not allowed on the show. If Felix and I get divorced, I can't get on the show. I can't get the publicity that I need. So you're going to do it? Mm hmm Why? Because of the calls on the contract? I pulled strings to be on that show and I wouldn't let any stupid dipper spoil things for me. So you're going to go with my terms because you want to be on a TV reality show? I guess. <sighs> anyway, wish you all the best. Thank you. Oh, 
será. Try to be deliberate about this. Do things that would make your husband really happy for the next 30 days. Nobody wants to work. Then I'll make sure to help you give your husband reasons to divorce you. me. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Hi. Hi. Have you spoken to your wife yet? Are you guys coming for counselling? No. And I'm, I'm so sorry I couldn't book an appointment. Uh, that's why I thought I'd just stop you, see you before you go home. So you've decided to end things? Yes. I'm so sorry. I wish things had worked better. Um, life happens. Um, I wish you all the best. So sorry. Thank you. Thank you. If you ever need anyone to talk to, I promise I'll be here. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Right. Just want to let you know that I really appreciate everything you've done, all your advice is everything. Thank you so much. I just wanted to see you one last time and say thank you. It's fine. Thank all right. You. All right. Me. Okay. Safe. All right. Okay. <laughs> You need to slow down, man. Are you trying to get yourself drunk? Let me get drunk now. Let me just get drunk. Bro, do you mean what you sent to me via text? Every word I said in the text, I meant. So you guys are actually getting a divorce? Is that the best option? Yes. Since I'm the only one who is interested in making this marriage work. Let us go our separate ways now. Eh? Let us just go our separate ways. We'll all be fine. But well, Felix, I know you love her so much. Will you be able to cope without her? Just like that? Valetti, I have no choice. What do you want me to do? She doesn't want me anymore. She's not interested. Uh-uh. No, man, I understand you totally, man. Is there no other way out? What is it? The truth is, Bolaji. I didn't want this though. I wanted my marriage to work. You know how much I've tried. You know everything I've done to make this marriage work. Eh? What else should I do? Eh? I don't sure I could have killed myself, eh? Yo, bro, do you know what? Uh, whatever decision you make, you take I'm solidly behind you, okay? But, bro, you can't kill yourself. Come on. Hey, bro, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not okay. killing myself, drinking alcohol. I'm not killing myself. The alcohol oh, will I, kill you. I, you know I, that, right? I'm, I made you a dinner and I got a bathroom ready for you one bath as well. Thank you. I um I'm not uh, hungry. Uh, I made your favorite beans and planted porridge. Huh. Uh-huh. And I also lit the bath scents. It smells really nice. Your favorite as well. Lavender. Okay. Um, I'm gonna allow you take a shower, take your time, 
and I'll get your dinner ready, okay? Um, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so just go ahead and come eat your dinner. All right? is behaving strange. I mean, she's behaving unusually nice. I don't understand what is going on. She's just being nice to me. You, you, you should see my house the way it looks right now. Look, do you think that she found out that I want a divorce? Was she the one that forced you into it? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think she's up to? Uh, I've seen this in the film before. What have you seen in the film? What is it? Talk to me now. What do you mean? What, what have you seen in the film before? Tell me, what, what, what are you trying to say? Don't be afraid, okay? But this is how women behave when they want to kill their husbands. Perhaps you realize she doesn't want a divorce, but she wants you dead. Hello? Hello, Felix? Are you there? Hello? Come on, babe. It took me time to make this for you. You should eat some, okay? It tastes really good. Eat some. Anita, you haven't cooked for me in weeks. You made me to sleep outside just to humiliate me. Then, out of the blues, you made a food for me to eat. What is happening? Why the sudden change of attitude? Why, why, why are you being so nice to me? Is it, is it, is it, is it not you that? Um, um, I'm sorry. Wakey. What did you do? Why did you do that? Good morning, Kiss. Why? Come on. What is wrong with that? Excuse me. Are you okay? Come on, I don't bite. I don't understand why she's playing nice all of a sudden. I thought she's been mean to you all the while. <laughs> Do you know what I think? I think what you said is right. 
She wants to poison me. Uh -huh. Yeah. I told you. You should have seen the way she forced a kiss on me this morning in my mouth. Just kissing my mouth. It's a lie. I had to run to the bathroom to go and brush my teeth and brush my lips. My lips are even sore. Oh, man. But bro, I didn't believe Anita would go this far. And you wanted to just leave the house for her. I haven't gotten a house yet. I'm still trying to find a place. And besides, I, I want to make sure the whole divorce something is settled. And then I just go my go, go my way. I'm out. She will not come and kill me. You want to ensure that the divorce is settled. What else do you want to ensure again? Bro, get the divorce before she kills you. I'm getting it. It's a legal process now. What do you need? Is it signature? I'll help you. Just get, get this thing. Let's do this thing. Come on. You're marrying me and you're marrying a million other people. Prostitute, will you move? Oh my God, no, I can explain now. What are you explaining? When you get into the car, come on, move. When you get into the car, you can explain. No. Get into the car. You don't know my car anymore. Isn't it too early for you to be home from work? I took a leave from work. A leave? Oh. I thought you were saving your leave for your reality TV show. I changed my mind. Um, I also got you something. Yes. Why should I open it? What's in it? Okay, so I reckon that she might need to start your restaurant business before getting a job. So I got you some kitchen equipment, a lot of them here in the kitchen, and this one is special for me to you. I mean, say, I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, you seem so desperate. What's wrong with you? Uh, Baby, I, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help out. I don't need your help. Thank you. Just watch my movie in this place. Oh, what movie are you seeing? I haven't seen it before. I don't know. Oh, you're watching it. And I said, I don't know. Can we go to the beach today? What, what did you just say? Go to the beach? We told you. I'm not going anywhere with you. Please, can we just go? Please. I say I'm not going anywhere with you. Just stop it. 
babe. Baby, do you have to walk away? Baby. Babe, come on now. You're taking this too far. Move back to our bedroom. You must be joking, right? But I'm not. Stop. You kicked me out of there, remember? I'm sorry. Please come back. I like it here. I want you. I'm sorry, please. Say stop touching me. Just stop, stop touching me now. Of course not. You know how much I love to feel your biceps. Did you just stop it? No. I don't can't. want you to touch me. I don't want to eat your food. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Just, just go to your room. Go and sleep. Just stop it. Okay? so hard. I was cruel to him. Do you regret your actions? You know, I I thought I was just trying to help him. You know, we have to make our intentions known in the nicest way possible. I regret the way I treated him. And you know, he's been so mean to me and he hurt so badly. Has he brought up the divorce yet? Thankfully, no, but with the way he acts, I don't think there is any hope for us. <sighs> Anita, you really have to work hard. You literally broke the peace you both had with your own hands. You have to fix this. Farah, what if after 30 days he doesn't change his attitude towards me? Well, let's just hope that doesn't happen. I'm gonna have to hope. something to eat? Yeah, just uh, making tea. Can we go shopping? I'm not interested. Even if I ask nicely. Okay, um, Felix, I really want us to go shopping. I would like you to help me pick some nice outfits. I'm busy. Hey, listen, I know I have been putting too much pressure on you, but I regret it and I mean it. I just want us to go out and have some fun, please. Why the sudden change of attitude? Two weeks ago, you wanted my head on the platter. What happened? Maybe I just realized that I have been too harsh and I haven't been a good wife. And I would like to change things now. Please just don't say no. Let's just go on. It's me, Anita. Come on, please. I'll follow you. I'll just see if you can. I'll come back home. That's okay. in you only if you take your time to see how much my heart beat for you cause I
For real? Me? Yeah. You look happy. Are you guys teasing me or what? Anyway, do you know what I've been doing all day? I am jealous we've been cooking. Cooking? Mm -hmm. For real? Mm-hmm. No, personally, I think this restaurant business is really going to be profitable. Do you know that Felix posted a meal on his social media page and he's got this order from his former colleagues immediately? Oh, we told you. Yeah, I know, but you don't have to rub it on my face, come on. <laughs> but seriously, babe, you have this extra glow. Are you sure you're not pregnant? Excuse me, pregnant what? Wait, 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 is this glow really serious? Honestly, no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> oh, okay, so where's your husband? Ah, he went to the market. <laughs> <laughs> Look who has warmed up. <laughs> oh, these guys are making me shy. <laughs> you know, um... Well, I just think that I'm uh, beginning to know the side of him that never existed. You know, since I started, I started supporting his dream of starting this restaurant business, I realized I'm beginning to see him on a different light. You never wanted that. Well, I just wanted the best for him, but I wish I trusted him earlier. <laughs> anyways, anyways, do you have a bottle of wine? Yes, I do. What are we celebrating? Uh-uh. Aren't we toasting to day 20? Well, you two have been counting. Oh, yes. <laughs> Holy Moses. Please go get the wine. We need to make a toast. Okay, fine. Let's toast to day 20, right? Red wine. Which one do you want? Any one. Let's get one. It's okay. What do you think, Dad? Well, I think it's a great idea. You do? Yeah, I mean, she's, uh, she seems a great cook. Plus, she has a lot of followers. I know she's Lara's sister, so um, I'm sure she's going to advertise your business mm -hmm. on her side for free. Mm -hmm. And I think we should we should get a, a good interior designer to redesign the kitchen and make it ready for your YouTube channel, at least for now. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? For being nice. Oh, come on. I've always been nice. No. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. What happened? I mean, what changed <laughs> you? You're different. You're sweet. You're kind. You would. You're just like the woman I fell in love with. Um, I guess I. I guess I've been so selfish. And this past few weeks taught me a lot of things. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad to have the woman I fell in love with back. I'm gonna get some water. Okay. Hey. Come here. Am 
questions. Me too. Jennifer, I heard something. What is it you heard? Uh, I heard your husband asked to quit his job because he wanted you to have yours. Where is that coming from? Who said that? According to the GM secretary, the company is downsizing. You were on the list. Your husband found out and asked the director to fire him instead, so long as you keep your job. I can't even believe that she's been playing me all along. She's been taking me for a fool. I can't even believe it. I remember I told you to be careful. I told you to be careful, didn't I? Come on, she's my wife. What am I supposed to do? I'm not a monster. I cannot keep ignoring her efforts toward me. She's my wife. And where did the efforts land you? This is it. She only pretended to want her marriage to work all because of the clause in that reality show contract. That's all she wanted from you. Can't even be sure of that. You read the contract, right? Didn't you? Gosh, why would women be just so unreasonable? I don't know. Kai. See, it's one calling, right? I don't even want to talk to her. 
I think you should call her to confirm it. What am I going to say to her? I already feel like a fool. Man, I, come on, I, I, I've been thinking that she was a woman I always knew her to be, and now see, see what happened. I, I, feel I feel like a fool, man. I, I don't know. I just, just take the call. She just really ask really me. She really wants Oh, me. my God. How's your babe? Babe, are you okay? Anita, babe, did you change your attitude toward me because of the clause in your reality TV contract? Answer me, Anita. Did you change your attitude toward me because of the clause in your reality TV contract? Baby, I, I can... Just say it. Just say it. I also wanted to end this relationship, but I didn't have the guts to do it. Now, you have given me a reason to do it. Because I know you don't love me. You never loved me. No, no, no. I, I, I can explain that. Okay, that, that, that was, that was. Just stop! Stop! Please, stop! Please. Stop! Stop! Babe, babe, babe. Listen, listen. I, I can explain that. Thank you for seeing me on a very short notice. It's fine. <sighs> I thought you wanted to file for a divorce. Yes. When she started doing all those nice things that she did that made me fall in love with her in the first place when we first met, you know, I just thought that. You thought that you, she wanted to make the marriage work, yeah? Yes. But I was stupid. I, you know, I, I feel so stupid right now. I fell for everything that she was doing. To think that she would be nice to me only because of a stupid reality TV contract. It's, it's crazy. A reality TV show? Yeah, some real wives of Lagos something. I don't know what it's about. Okay, just take a deep breath, okay? Let me take a deep breath. Yeah? Okay. I can't believe that. She means the word to me. Yet I mean nothing to her. She, nothing to her. I mean, when she changed and she, you know, started being so nice, I was so, so happy. I felt like I was back, you know? Things were perfect. I'm so sorry. Tell you what, um, my next appointment is in another hour, yeah? Maybe we, you and I should go for a walk. The fresh air will do you good, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go to my table, clear it out, and then we'll go for that walk, yeah? I'll be right back. Thank just you. breathe. Just breathe. Be calm. Just breathe, okay? All right? Take it easy on me I believe in our love I believe in hope 
Take it easy on me Take it easy on me I believe in our love I believe in us I know I am not so perfect I know I need to do some more Take it slow, I know someday we will get there We are just a little bothered But I know we will make it through In this dark, I still see the light Where are you coming from? It is almost 11 p.m. Where are you coming from at this time of the night? Wow! What, what's wrong with your camouflage? Are you suddenly tired of playing nice? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you. You being all loving, playing the loving sweet wife. What has changed? What, what, what happened? Uh, why are you yelling when you can just ask me a simple question? Listen, Felix, listen, I just want us to talk things through. Hey, I'm really sorry. Why? Uh, are you really scared of getting a divorce? Or you are actually afraid that you might get kicked out of your show? No. Then why? Oh, you suddenly realize that you can't live without poor Felix. Come on. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come on, come on, come I should have done a long time ago. Um, but you should just allow us to talk things through before you... Anita, we have nothing to talk about. Um, why didn't you tell me you, you gave up your job for mine? Because unlike some people, I don't go about talking about things I do for the people I love. Let's come on. You know you can't leave now, stupid, right? You can just talk about everything, please. Come on, baby. You know you can't do this, right? Just you can't move. sleep like that. Come on, come on. Come on, He lost his job because of me. Oh my goodness. Uh, where, where is he? Why didn't you stop him from leaving? I could have stopped him. He left. I think he's seeing someone else right now. I, I think he's seeing Farah. My childhood name was the one I told you about. Farah, are you sure? I, I, I saw them together. The same day he packed his bag bags and left me. I don't understand. I know what I I don't even think she knows that he is my husband because she's been calling my phone. I don't want to talk to her. She's been calling me all day. She's, she's 
such a husband snatcher. And I don't want a reality show anymore. I just miss my, my dear husband. What is my life? We warned you, but you didn't listen. Show calling. I'm not interested. Anita! I sent them a message that I'm pulling out. Why? Isn't that what you've always wanted? I don't want her anymore. I don't want anything like that anymore. I just want my husband. Okay. Have you tried calling him? Have you tried reaching out to him? His phones are switched off. But I don't think he wants to speak to me right now. It's okay. Sweetheart, just calm down, okay? Have you eaten? What what will you like to eat? Tell me what you want to I eat. I don't want to eat. I don't want food. I don't want to eat anything. I just want Felix back into my life. I just feel so stupid. It's okay. She's supposed to get my husband. It will be I, I don't, don't, don't even talk to her because I think they are dating right now. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I want you to stop it's crying. It's okay. So when you ask to see me, how may I help you? Thank you for coming, Bolaji. I really need to talk to you. You look like you haven't been sleeping well. Are you okay? Like, you just tell me the truth. Is he seeing someone else? How can you possibly be asking me that kind of question after frustrating my poor friend? I know. I'm sorry, I have changed. Oh, you've changed. And that just solves everything, right? After deceiving my friend, and you know that he really loves you. All for what? For a miserable uh, a reality show contract. Can you imagine? Come on, that be reasonable. Yeah, I know, but that was before now. I, I realized I still love him. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. I think that's a little late for now because he believes that you want him back all for the reality show's sake, and that's all. I cancel the contract. And I'm supposed to believe that? Like, I don't... What exactly are you saying? Listen, Balaji, I, I really wanted a divorce at first, but... I met Farah, who advised me to go on a 30 days incubation period. And then I realized I still love my husband. Farah Abdullahi? You know her? Of course I know Farah Abdullahi. She's the uh, marriage counselor he met to salvage a relationship. Oh my god. I thought they were dating. Oh my god. How can you possibly think they were dating? She's just a marriage counselor. For real? Oh god. You see, whatever you're doing now, I need you to bring back the old Felix back. Because I have never seen my friend this frustrated and broken before. All because of you. Do what's right right now. Listen, where is my husband? I want to see him. Please. I told you this is your house. You don't have to knock, bro. Please don't send me away. What are you doing here? Just want to ask for your forgiveness. My forgiveness. I've been waiting for the divorce papers. Where are they? I want to sign the papers. Where are they? Or are you scared that the, 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 the reality show will not take you in? I 
Ayúdeme, güey. Ayúdeme, güey. Bien. Please. I initially wanted a divorce, right? But while we spent time together, I realized I still needed you in my life. And I realized that was the only problem in our marriage. I'm sorry. How could you? I mean, how could you ever think about leaving me? Anita, I don't know. Oh. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what happened to me. Like, I don't even know. Listen, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for humiliating you. I'm sorry for making you feel less of a man. I'm sorry for, for being a bad wife. I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry i am sorry i I promise to be a better person. I just want you. Wait, wait. Just give me one last chance, please. Don't say no, please. Please. Just, just give me one last chance. Look, are you... I don't have time for your jokes. Are you sure this is not a joke? No, 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 no. I swear to God, it's not a joke. I cannot joke with you. I swear, just give me one last chance. Please. Please, please, please. It's okay. It's okay, you know I mean, if, if you're serious, if you really want us to come back together, if you really want us to work on our marriage, mm -hmm. then I forgive you. You do? I forgive you and I, let's work on our marriage. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. I love you too. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. 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 I wouldn't have believed that um, Felix's new restaurant would be listed in one of the top magazines in town. I must say I'm really, really impressed and congratulations to you, brother. Congrats. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I listed it ordered for two bowls of soup. Oh, oh. I know. So. I'm being scared. Don't worry, we're going to deliver all tomorrow because there are pretty meat stabs, actually. Oh, wow. oh my God. Wow. Guys, I am really, really, really happy for you both. Really happy. Congrats once more. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, um. Uh... Okay, come on. Okay. Huh? okay, you tell them. No, you tell them. No, come on, you tell them. Come on. No. <clears throat> well, um, 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 Friends, um, our dear friends. No, no, I, I can't call you guys friends. You guys are like family to us now. So as a family, okay? Well, uh, my beautiful wife here and I, we have um, an announcement to make. We are um, actually expecting a child. Yes, we are. You know, I've been working quite hard ever Come since on. we came back together. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on, guys. The child in question will be my god child. Yes, wait. No, she's not. She's dead. I am dead. Take it easy on me. Take it easy on me. 
I believe in high love I believe in hopes Take it easy on me Take it easy on me I believe in our love I believe in us I know I am not so perfect I know I need to do some more Take it slow, I know someday We will get there we are just a little bothered But I know we will make it through In this dark, I still see the light In 